Oh my gosh, guys, I think it got fixed. If you don't know what to talk about, the transform tool was a bit weird. I hope they did, because it said they updated today. So I'm hoping that's the fix for the blankets and stuff. Yeah! Hello. Hi guys, today is my return to building. Been a good two weeks or so since I've built something. But um, yeah, I thought I'd build a house, of course, with the uh, new bathroom and pillow blanket update we got just a couple days ago. I was waiting to do this video because I needed the transform tool to work again, and it's it's fixed. It's fixed, perfect timing, Coppletus, thank you so much. It's a bit limited, but it works now where you can actually like do something with it, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, maybe other people found, figured out a way to like make it work with it being weird but i did not want to deal with it also i've been working again uh not too not too long but i have 187k to work with so we could probably make a decently sized family house i don't know do i really want my first house back to be a family one probably maybe at least two bedrooms plus so i think just to get myself back into building nothing too wild but i do want to make this house right here you know it's it's something i definitely would make a two-door garage though oh my gosh they're like these carriage doors too is that what they call it carriage doors also the entrance has this nice uh, arched uh, entrance entry. We can definitely use the arch structural to, to make this. Before we begin, you have this radius now. Okay, you cannot leave this this bubble, this little indicator radius thing. This is good enough to put on couches and stuff, so you should be fine with that. Um, you can't make it float anymore, and, and if you put it on top of a surface, um, there will be like a little box. So will show you the box that it cannot leave, but you can still like mess with it, I guess. Fun thing is that with the smaller grid size, you can make it a little, you can like manage it a little bit better. Uh, in a way but it's more limited now it's not as freeing as the first time it came out anyways let's go and try and build the house okay i guess we're gonna need one more wall here oh oh gosh okay hold on let me see did that connect okay cool we're good we're good two door garage i noticed it takes up three tiles so that's possible to do that okay um and then we'll just have some stuff here maybe this will be a four it's gonna be an l-shaped house this house already i think it's an l shape think it's an L shape, but that's fine. Uh, great houses can come from L shapes, okay? Okay, I don't see any other parts of this house. I know this side is flat, because based off the photo, this side is flat. So we'll just do that. I'm gonna look at the floor plan. I might as well just use this floor plan. I mean, that's what I'm doing anyways, based off the photo. But yeah, here's the floor plan. You got the garage, two-door garage, entry, great room, dining. I think we're going to take this layout. I think this layout is perfect. I don't have to think too much. So, and then the second floor, there are three bedrooms i don't know about the sizing for blockberg standards but uh we'll try to do three bedrooms if possible but yeah master bedroom ensuite you got the bathroom the like the second floor bathroom right here uh but the side's so flat maybe i'll just fence it and then we don't have to notice that too much we don't we won't have to notice it that much okay i'm no i'm, I'm not following the floor plan exactly this is our house that is so weird <laughs> that's the garage oh i like that okay I think we'll just do regular recess stair. Go. Now we'll go up to the second floor. Do I do that? Do I do that? Or should I just put it up against the wall like that? I think it'd be better. <laughs> um, there's a bathroom right here. So there'll be a small little guest bathroom right here. This whole area is going to be dining. This is a great room. Um, this is a decorative side piece. Well, actually, maybe I can make this into a, like a little pantry or something. I think I might do that. Um, second floor. Very, very, very interesting. All right, let me see how I'm gonna roof this now since we have our shape pretty much done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start off with the slant. This house because it had a slanted roof in it. Actually, move this up by one, maybe? Yeah, I feel like that'd be better. Okay, so the slant is not too crazy big. Great, slant roof here. I think detailing is what is gonna make this look a little bit better. You know what the next update should be? Roof trims. I think I know a lot of people probably want you can make with structurals, but I don't want to do structural roof trims. It just it's not the same. It's not it's not the best. Oh yeah, this is definitely not looking like the actual photo or plan photo. Ew, why is this house so I don't like this. I'm not a big fan. Maybe I should have built a different house. I might <laughs> I might change my mind and build something different. Looks like an airplane. It looks like a rocket ship. No, it looks like an airplane. Okay, I'm sure with detailing, this is gonna look 10 times better. It's gonna look 10 times better. No, this roof is gonna look so bad. This roof is gonna look terrible. I'm throwing up. 
throwing up looking at this right now. From the front, it's okay. We'll do- we'll figure something out. I'm sure of it, okay? We're sh I'm sure. I'm totally sure of this. Okay, look, see? With some pillars and uh, roof trims, it's looking to be pretty decent. Although, this is still questionable right here. I don't know if I'm going to fix that. Actually, you know what? I might as well do something here. Maybe add, like, a little gable here. See, this is why I should do a challenge where I'm not allowed to use any gable roof because uh, it's everywhere. Guys, this is my, my, in two weeks, I've lost all my building skills, but this doesn't look that bad. It's okay. All right, I think we're gonna go with the traditional windows because it is definitely a very traditional house. We're gonna go ahead and do a porch here. One of the main features. Nice! <gasps> oh, I can't wait to make the pathway for this. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, the driveway is a simple like line like that. But make a nice path like this here. I think that's kind of standard. That's kind of standard. Okay, that's literally what's in the photo. That's fine. All right. What is that? Oh, that's a blanket. <laughs> that's a blanket. I'm like, what is that? Is that a bug? That's fine. Okay, these pillars are looking a little funny now. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, let me try that structural arch now. I think we're going to do the... I don't know how. I haven't used this in a little while. Oh, there you go. Ooh, and then we can make it a little bit lower. How do I feel about that? That's okay. It looks kind of like the photo. That's good. <sighs> I'm throwing it. We just won't look at it. You know, we're just going to hide this. We don't have to think about it that much. Okay. No more acknowledging that back piece. We just won't do that. So the first floor is pretty much set. The second floor. Oh gosh, this is going to be very, very much different from this. Floor plan. I'm not even doing the floor plan at this point. It's something else going on here. In the floor plan, the stairs go, like start right here. This is where the second the, the landing would start. But uh, we have an issue, all right? We have an issue. This for sure can still be a bedroom. And I think this could be a bedroom as well. Maybe like, maybe a kid's room. That would be fine. And then for the, like, like the bathroom for everybody upstairs will be like right here. Hopefully that doesn't get anybody a concussion. I think that's concussion. I think that's concussion. Let's see. Okay, slight concussion. I love how you can already tell with this big of a garage. I'm not going to do too much with it. Uh, <laughs> let's start with the bathroom first. Let's do the newer things first. And then I'm going to do the living room next. And then we'll probably mess with the kitchen like later on. <laughs> I'm so excited to do bathrooms. Basic tub and shower combo. <gasps> wow, guys. Our bathroom actually can look pretty different now. Updated toilets, updated shower. This is wild. This is a little crazy. And I can just put like a little sink here. Next, for them to update the sinks or add more sinks for us. That'd be great. Oh, bathroom update part three. <laughs> okay, I might do a counter sink. A bit strange for me, but uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that could work. Do a counter sink for once. We'll just do a tilt one. Tilt is pretty simple. Pretty standard. Okay. So far, like, it's pretty different. That's actually kind of different for me. A little different. Toilet paper. I'm gonna use this modern toilet paper holder instead. All right. Okay, that's our bathroom so far. It's not bad to do a little bit of a rotated carpet too. I don't know if I do it this way or yeah, or this way when you get out of the shower. Don't know what colors I'm gonna choose yet. Oh, by the way, I fun fact, this basic shower did get updated in a way. Um, I think the textures, the mesh is a little bit more improved. Um, I don't know the exact things. It pretty much is like similar, but they also changed the, uh, the shower head and the knob thingy. I'm very tempted to make this a full bathroom, but I don't know. Let's just steal the same toilet and put this down here. Do I want a hygienic shower? Another word I've been pronouncing a bit funny is hygienic. I've been saying that weird. <laughs> Oopsies! Alright, and then we can still fit a sink in here. So it's another full-size bathroom. It's completely possible. Yes! Look at that. And it's not too cramped. This is pretty normal, realistically. Like, cool. We can actually make two full-size bathrooms. Noise. Okay, I'm actually going to steal some stuff, though. It's work smarter, not harder. So I'm stealing that toilet paper roll. I'm still gonna have a towel rack underneath this, though. Oh, there we go. Wow. See, things on the walls can make the room feel a lot fuller. That's pretty good. I was gonna sing the Full House song. Everywhere you look. Okay. Is that all? Is that all I want to use for now? Oh, we could put a little blanket. <gasps> Let's make use of these, like, uh, these blankets. Make it look like a towel or something. Like a messy... Let me see. I still got to figure out how this works. Okay, cool. I want to rotate it like that. Man, I'm... You know, this is going to get expensive. This is going to get kind of expensive. Maybe we have it make it messy looking like there's a towel right here draped over. I don't know why that towel will be draping right there, but it is. I want to make it look messy. Actually, though, that's that's all I'm going to do for that. Um, maybe I can use this, like a little candle here to each other. That's asking for a fire, actually. That could be a fire hazard. More than likely, I'm going to put a plant there, too. <laughs> Ooh, very questionable choices there. All right. That's our bathrooms for now. Those are the bathrooms of the house. They are done. 
for the most part. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the living room next. We can mess with the new living room stuff like blankets and pillows. Um, you know, I'm gonna use the new sectional transitional set. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have so much fun using this. Okay, you seen the pillows. We're gonna use some new pillows. We're gonna use the trim square pillows. I already know these are gonna be my favorites. So if you wanna replace them, there you go, you can. If you want more pillows, just, um, copy and put it on here actually can you just like yeah you can just place pillows now you just can place a bunch of pillows now on the couch doesn't matter you don't have to transform them right <sighs> oh and i'm definitely gonna still do that technique with the blanket draped over the oh my gosh wait you don't need to transform this you don't need to transform this oh gosh okay cool i don't have to transform it wait you don't you don't have to transform it to put it on there wait that's so cool wait can you put anything on this then like <gasps> oh <gasps> Wow, you don't need the transform tool now to like do this. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping again, oh gosh, I probably am. I want more blankets though. I want more crazy, messy blankets. Neatly tucked blanket. These are for your beds mostly, right? Maybe I'll just, what looks good? There's too many pillows, huh? I feel like there's too, way too many pillows I've added onto this. Maybe just one pillow right here, fine by me. I'm gonna put another blanket draped over here. There's too many blankets. I'm putting too many blankets. I'm putting way too many blankets. But seriously though, you don't need the transform tool now. I just want this to be a mess. I wanna make it cluttery mess, man, I do. But that is so cool. You can put things like literally up here if you want. You can literally put anything. I'm gonna put like a drink there. That's kind of dangerous, but yeah, that is so good. Someone may be reading a book here. They left their book there. Yeah, that's another way to, you know, mess with this. Okay. Kind of want to add like pillars here and here. Maybe do like a little bit of a. <laughs> this is not centered. Okay, wait. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Put that. Let's put that on the couch. Yes. I actually really like how you can like put anything on the couch now. Like, kind of want to make the floor messy too, actually. <laughs> kind of want to make the floor a tiny bit messy. I want to make the floor a little bit messy. I'm going to this pillow. Put it on the floor. Make it look like it's on the floor. You know what I haven't used in a while? Inset walls. I haven't used the insets in such a long time. I don't know where they are technically. What are they called? They're called windows. Oh, yes, yeah, so that would make sense. Insets. I think I want to put like a giant inset like right here because this definitely could change up your house too. No, no, what theme I'm going for. Maybe it's another type of modern traditional house sort of feel. Don't know if it's modern farmhouse, but it's so hard to fill up the space sometimes. Like, uh, it can get difficult filling up the space. See why I haven't built in a while? Because I'm actually thinking a lot. I'm thinking too much. My brain's gonna like drain, get drained. I wanna try a different oven hood this time around. Actually, nah, I think I might stick with this. Look how I changed my mind right away. You know what? I'm gonna use a different lamp this time around. We're not doing this weird, uh, we're not doing this square table lamp anymore. We're gonna. We're gonna switch it up. Let's do this traditional lamp because this house is already traditional. Wow, this is so bright now. It's so bright. Mm. Okay, I'm going back to my kitchen. I'm like flip-flopping around the house a bit, as you noticed. Um, <laughs> that's kind of like the theme of this house as well. It's like more cluttered and lived in. You know, a vase would be nice. I don't use vases very often or vases. However you want to say that vases, vases. And I do have some flowers, do I not? I don't have flowers. Okay, I'm gonna do the bedrooms because, you know, they have a couple more things for the bedrooms. I can't wait to make my beds look nice, which I'm about to do. And then we are going to uh, just decorate the rest of it off camera or something. So this is the main bedroom, I guess. Now this one could have the transitional bed. This one could be the modern double bed. Let's like take up all of the space. What if I put it there? I'm gonna do for, this is gonna be a kid's bedroom. So I'm just gonna do like a single bed here. Now, let's try and make them look a bit more fluffy with the long, me messy, long blankets. And they fit so well here. They do. Look at this. You just gotta match it. Honestly, you can just do this too. Like, look at that. That actually doesn't look too bad. If you can make it like white or something. I like how it's defaulted to sand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. We're gonna change that today. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so nice. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Wow! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe like rescale it a tiny bit, because you know how like the like the the blanket is like folded over a bit like that. Oh my gosh! <gasps> we can swap out the pillows too here. Oh, <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm so ready to change everything here. I don't know about those. How about the uh, trim square pillows? Slot those in, make them a little bit longer. And actually raise it up too, make it less flat like this. Give it <laughs> a little bit of a bump. I love it. More customization for your bed. See? <gasps> wow, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. Yes, I'm, def I'm definitely gonna do a blue bed. I'm doing a blue bed. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Rooms will look so nice, guys. They're gonna look 10 times better. Better. Get it better. Okay, wait, I wanna put more, I need to put more pillows. I need to put like blankets and stuff. I need to clutter this a little bit more other than putting the long blanket over it. But like, look at that. That's just pretty clean though. That is super clean. Maybe I'll do like a draped blanket over here along that side of the bed or maybe this side. Cause you'll walk in, you'll see this right away. Cause you gotta have your decorative like back pillows and then the, the actual like main pillows. I don't know if that looks good. Let me see. Let me just, um, it's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna definitely need to practice a bit with the pillows. Like now we have another thing to worry about. We have, we have to be like, oh my gosh, how will our pillows look? We need to, yeah. Ooh, wait, that's not too bad. Oh, I hate these pillows. Hold on, let me, can I replace those? Yes. Replace okay, I actually always hated how some beds, like the texture will, from the actual bed sheets will go to the pillows as well. So now you can fix that problem with these custom ones. That looks comfortable, right? That looks very comfortable, I think. Okay, I have pretty much decorated and furnished the entirety of the inside of the house uh, as much as I could or as much as my brain let me. We're gonna go ahead and start landscaping and doing some coloring, which will ruin the rest of this house knowing me. <laughs> Okay, guys, our house is finally complete. We complete our three-bedroom, two-bathroom house. It's it's okay. It's actually not bad. It's a pretty decently sized home. So anyways, we got a two-door garage. Wow, can you believe that? Uh, this is what the garage looks like. It's very, you know, I think it looks decent. This is the pillar. Don't mind that. It's a decent garage. It's better than some of the other garages I've done. <laughs> Just shelving and cars and stuff. But here we got the front porch, nothing too crazy. Uh, but if we walk on in, where all the magic is. So the living room, super, totally messy, super cluttered. I actually kind of like how this turned out. Why is that blue? I don't know. We're just we're gonna pretend that I did that on purpose. But we have an office desk over here. We got a popcorn machine in case we want to, you know, grab a snack. I did I did not fill up this ladder shelf. Uh, obviously there's a door, the door to the garage. I actually added some vents around the house too for more bit more realistic feel. Uh, over here is the kitchen, which actually kind of looks nice too. You got a dining spot and you got an island area. This is the bathroom. Oh my gosh, the first bathroom, guys. I'm using the new shower, which has a random green shade in it, and um, yeah, just. Pretty much standard stuff. I'm too wild in that one. Uh, this this is a food pantry right here. <laughs> yeah, it's empty. I, I'm not filling that up. Nope, nope. Don't got the patience for that. You'll notice that, of course, the decals are still um, defaulted. I, I'll just I'll just put random ones. How about like? All right. Anyways, moving upstairs. The landing area is pretty simple. Nothing too crazy, and it's not that bad either. And here is the kids' bedroom. I'm actually gonna add some decals to this room, like just kids' drawings. All right. Anyways, here's the kids' bedroom. I love the bed. The beds are a little bit more detailed. They're less flat now, and it's it's really nice. I actually put ended up putting the plushies on the bed too because you know the kids could probably just playing with the plushies on their bed. Simple room still, but it's definitely an improvement. It's definitely an improvement. I love the bed, it's so good. What is this? Oh, this is the bathroom too. There's another bathroom, the second one. I actually like this one a lot more than the first bathroom because it's just slightly bigger and um, it just layout is kind of decent too. <laughs> wow, oh yes, love that tub. But that's the bathroom. Uh, if we go over here, here is the biggest bedroom in the house. It's also very neutral, very simple, but once again, I like how the bed looks. It's definitely more fluffy, more comfortable looking. And then last but not least, we have the last bedroom, which is the second biggest one. And I actually like this one a lot too. Maybe this one's my most favorite. I don't know why. I think it's just that one random texture wall here of the accent wall. This bed looks comfortable too. There's like unnecessarily too many pillows, but it's it's nice. I would jump in this bed. But yeah, anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's blog work episode. I am building again, yay. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, you find it interesting or inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, I really gotta step up my landscaping game. I have to work on that next. I have to, I gotta look, I gotta research a lot. But yeah, I love the bathrooms and bedrooms. They're so fun.